Good morning, team. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday. So, what's going on? Well, I want to talk to you about inflammatory foods. Um, I want to talk to you about my neurology appointment, which was not so awesome. Um, what else? I want to talk to you about... Hmm. I'm trying to find my inflammatory foods. I can't find it. Where is it? Oh, where is it? Um, while I try to find this, let's talk about my neurology appointment. Oh, there it is. It was not that great. Actually, it was only 15 minutes. And it was me talking to the doctor about things that I had brought up. And... Um, she wasn't very helpful. I explained kind of the things that I'm going through right now. And she kept saying to me, yeah, well, that's because you have lesions there in your brainstem, in your cerebellum, in your spinal cord. And it's probably going to get worse over the next two years before it gets better. And so... Yeah, she didn't do any tests, any um, neurology tests on me, like none of this, like I thought. Um, I don't know, man. I I don't feel like she's fighting for me at all. It's not a good scene. So I'm still on the hunt for a better neurologist than Graham. Thank you so much for pointing out a neurologist in Round Rock. Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about today is anti-inflammatory foods. You know that I am a big fan of diet, right? It's one of the things that we can control is what we put in our body. There's been so much about the Walls protocol. I don't know if you've seen this, but Dr. Walls, she was in a wheelchair. She had MS. She started eating differently, and that made a big difference for her. So, um, what do you eat? <laughs> well, uh, there are 13 anti-inflammatory foods that Healthline, if you're not a subscriber of Healthline, I think you should be, um, that make a difference in life. So, berries. Berries are anti-inflammatory. Um, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, I have all of these. Uh, I incorporate them into smoothies and they're just delicious. Um, they have antioxidants in them. They have compounds that have anti-inflammatory effects. Um, it reduces your risk of disease. It has natural killer cells. Um, so yeah, um, fatty fish, yes. I'm a big fan. Salmon. Oh yeah. Salmon's like, that's the Pacific Northwest coming out in me. Salmon is important because it has omega-3 fatty acids. Um, it can lead to um, help you metabolize different foods. Um, so I'm a big fish fan. But there are other fish that they recommend. I don't like any of them. Sardines, herring, mackerel, anchovies. No, I'll stick with my salmon. <laughs> broccoli. Oh, I'm a big broccoli fan. Uh, I buy frozen and fresh and I incorporate it into smoothies. I just eat it raw. I eat it cooked as a side to my dishes. Um, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, kale, all of those guys um, I have in my, my um, refrigerator and they're awesome. They're anti-inflammatory, um, it helps fight inflammation and it also decreases heart disease and cancer, risk of heart disease and cancer. So good, good stuff. Avocados. Okay, now my California is coming out. <laughs> I love my avocados, but they are also 
packed with potassium, magnesium, fiber, um, and monosaturated fats. Okay, so monosaturated fats are actually good fats. Um, we all need potassium and we need magnesium. In fact, I take supplements. I pay for them <laughs> um, because it helps, you know, it helps your, your cramping and all of that stuff. Uh, so good stuff. Avocados, yum. Love them. Uh, if you can't stand them, a lot of people can't stand them. Guacamole, most people can stand guacamole, right? Green tea. I don't have green tea. I need to incorporate this. It does, um, they say that it's one of the healthiest drinks that you can incorporate into your your day. So I need to kind of do that. Um, but it uh, produces um, cytokine, cytokine production. Um, so that's, that's good. Uh, that is anti-inflammatory um, inside your body. Okay, peppers. I love peppers. <laughs> Bell peppers. I had one this morning. I know that seems strange, but I have a smoothie that is called the Sunshine Smoothie, and it incorporates bell peppers, pineapple, spinach, banana, uh, blueberries. See? That was my morning this morning. That's what I had. Um, bell peppers have vitamin C and antioxidants in them. Um, they have different acids that reduce um, inflammation and apparently it, it helps for healthier aging. So I'll take it. Mushrooms. I have these too. I love me some mushrooms. Portobello mushrooms. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Okay, so mushrooms are rich in selenium, copper, and all of your B items, and they ha have phenols and other antioxidants that give you anti-inflammatory protection. Yes, 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 I want all of those things. <laughs> grapes, I love me some grapes, but they're really high in sugar, so I kind of stay away from them, but they say that it's helpful in reducing the risk of certain diseases. I already have a disease. Um, and it has Reservatrol, which is good. I, I take Reservatrol. Um, grapes. I guess I could consume my grapes in a glass of wine. <laughs> that might be a stretch. Turmeric. I can never say this. Turmeric. Turmeric. You know what I'm saying? Turmeric. It's a spice, it reduces inflammation. Everybody, I, I don't know if you've seen that, um, how much you've seen of that, but it's it's all over the place. And if you consume curcumin, curcumin, one gram of curcumin um, is supposed to, to help. Um, okay extra virgin olive oil. This is the only oil I ever cook with and it's one of the healthiest fats with avocado that you can eat. Um, it's in a Mediterranean diet, which is what I'm all about. Um, it's, um, it's just good for you. Dark chocolate. Okay, I'm on board. Dark chocolate and cocoa. Uh, both of those have anti-inflammatory effects. So dark chocolate sign me up. Tomatoes. Yeah. Yeah. So tomatoes and avocado, put them together with some onion and some cilantro and some peppers. And what do you have? Oh, you have guacamole. <laughs> tomatoes have vitamin C in them and lycopene. Um, both of those things are good for your immune system. And cherries. I love cherries. I haven't had them in such a long time. But cherries are great and they're full of antioxidants. Um, so, yeah. Cherries are, are great. They have anti-inflammatory properties to them. So, those are good ones. So, cherries, tomatoes, dark chocolate extra virgin olive oil. If you're not cooking with that, cook with that. Turmeric, 
ooh, see, I said that right. Grapes, mushrooms, peppers, green tea, avocado, broccoli, fish, fatty fish, and berries. All of those things are great. All of those things are anti-inflammatory and all of them you should incorporate in your diet. I do. Um, things that you should stay away from, junk foods. <laughs> junk foods are bad, fast foods are bad. Pretzels, unfortunately, I love pretzels, they're bad. Refined carbohydrates, white bread, pasta, white rice, crackers, flour tortillas and biscuits, all of those things I love. I love me some refined carbohydrates, but I haven't had them in a long time. Fried foods, fried chicken, french fries, mozzarella sticks, egg rolls, bad. Um, sugar sweetened beverages like soda, sweet tea. Sweet tea is a big thing in the South. I don't, I don't have that. Processed meats, bacon, beef jerky, salami, trans fats, shortening, vegetable oil, margarine. Yeah, no, stick with your olive oil. <laughs> uh, all of those things are bad. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. I think it might be to some people. Some of you might know all of that, but if you don't, I'm hoping that it's helpful. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy your day. It's Thursday, tomorrow for us working schlubs. It's the last day of the week, and we'll get through it. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be well, take care of each other, be good to other people, and have a good one.